Hey everyone, Paul Daniels here with what I fix daily. Alright, so you finished doing something on your iPhone and you need to put the shield back on. Now I used to go along and tack this down and then go off to the side and start soldering around the edges and all that. And it was never really quite even, I was never happy with it. But then, to give credit to where credit's due, I saw Jason Bulmer use hot air to put his shields back on. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. And I didn't really get to see it... Um, in full resolution or you know, up close in his video so I thought I'd do that here so we've got our close up and we've got our shield and we see all the uneven blobs here and there and so what we'll do is we just simply put the shield back on as long as it's close enough it should be good nice thing is if it came off well then it should go back on pretty well too Right. Now I'm going to turn this around, you're not going to see it fully, but the reason why I want to turn around is on this particular shield, I want to watch these pads here to see how see them reflow. Oop, looks like we're out of the camera a bit. There we go. These pads here. So I usually use my hot air, the same as what I took it off with. In this case I'm using a whopping great big 9mm tip. And we just go around and do the same and we're looking for a transition here I gotta admit this is a bit harder under the microscope There we go. Let me just tap down a little bit and wait for the transition back. Which takes quite a while on this particular solder. And there it goes. It finally just transitioned back then. Might not have shown up on the video, but hopefully it did. And now our shield's attached on all sides so there you go it's uh, something to practice um, I certainly could do a bit more practice but I do like the idea of it and it saves a lot of fiddling around so give it a shot see so you go until next time you'll take care catch you later